A bald eagle made of roots and salvaged driftwood. A colorful quilt of denim and cotton scraps. An animal skull mounted on a chipped vinyl record. Art that tells a story of enslavement, poverty, and racism. The artists were denied access to spaces, educational spaces, um, spaces of creation, spaces of exposition. But certainly, there was a lot of uh, passing down of experience, of, of, uh, of art making skills. Works by 34 artists from the deep south of America. Some began working in the 1930s, when the United States laws were still based on race. It's only recently that the works have found a wider audience in the U.S., and many have never been seen in Europe. Nigerian artist Victor Ehemenor sees vestiges of traditional art in the works from the Deep South. These works are not distant cousins to me. Yes, of course, they are made in America, but they are made by blacks that are in America. So which means we carry our stories inside of us. We carry it with us wherever we go. You know, so we do not travel light. The history of the Deep South in America has until recently been written by the white majority. This is the black American's version of it, and it's a history of poverty and oppression with resilience and survival. Contemporary African artists like A. Hamanor also confront a history written by white colonizers. Across the city at another gallery, his tapestry of thousands of rosary beads considers history and memory of a slave ship. The Rites of Passage show at the Gagosian Gallery reflects on post-colonial black identity and uncovers a long legacy of creativity, which tells a more expansive story of what it means to be human. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.